Hello again, everyone. Uh, the next game I'm about to show is, uh, well, one of my absolute favorites, uh, played by Mikhail Tal. Uh, this was uh, played in 1957 uh, Soviet Championship, and it was played uh, uh, Bukuti Gurganitsa is white and Mikhail Tal is black. And uh, let's see this game. Uh, white plays d4, knight to f6, c4, uh, c5, Tal plays the Benoni defense. Uh, d5, e6, knight to c3, uh, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, d6, knight to f3, g6, e4, bishop to g7, bishop to e2, uh, black castles, this is all standard theory, uh, white castles, uh, tal plays rook to e8, uh, knight to d2, knight to a6, uh, i just like to men mention that uh, capturing uh, this knight with a bishop to double black spawns uh, isn't uh, good for white because this uh, bishop is a good piece and uh, well capturing here would lead to a Benko type structure which is okay for black. So white goes rook to e1, uh, tau plays knight to c7, uh, a4 and now b6. And if you're a Benoni player you should uh, remember this b6 move because uh, I know that uh, black wants to play here a6 and b5. But if you play uh, a6, then white will play a, a5, and you will no longer be able to play b6 for the rest of the game. So after a4, you should remember this and uh, play b6, and only then a6 and b5, if white allows it, of course. So white plays queen to c2, and uh, this is the most important uh, moment of the game. This is uh, where you can really see uh, how far Tal's imagination goes. Uh, Tal saw that when white played queen c2, uh, he left this rook on e1 undefended. And although this rook is so far into white's camp and none of the black pieces are actually able to attack it, uh, Tal finds a way. Uh, so Tal plays knight to g4. And uh, here uh, Gurganitsa knows that he's playing against Mikhail Tal and he doesn't really want any complications. Uh, it's okay for white to capture the knight here with bishop captures on g4, but uh, white doesn't want to part with this bishop. So white thought that uh, Tal's idea is after h3 just uh, remaneuver the knight to e5. Uh, but this is uh, why I named this video Don't Play h3 against Mikhail Tal. Uh, here you'll see what Tal had in mind. Tal plays knight captures on f2. Uh, and here you have to capture the knight or you're just worse. So king captures on f2 and now queen to h4 and uh, this is uh, where you can see that uh, Tal's uh, idea of this undefended rook on e1 comes to place. Now the white king can go to g1 where it's safe. He has to go to f1 to defend this rook on e1. So king to f1 and now Tal plays a bishop to d4. Here Tal is threatening checkmate on f2 and there's really not a lot of ways you can stop this. The only move white has to stop this checkmate is to play uh, knight to d1. And uh, here it's uh, like uh, sacrificing the knight on f2 wasn't enough of a shock for Gurganitsa. Here Tal plays queen, ta queen takes on h3. And uh, this is uh, very very hard to play for white. If uh, the queen is captured then bishop takes h3's checkmate. You see how those two bishops are slicing uh, the position nicely. Uh, and if you don't capture the queen, well, Tal is threatening queen to h1 checkmate. So white has to stop this somehow. White plays bishop to f3, and uh, Tal plays queen to h2. Uh, knight to e3, f5, Tal wants to break open the position. Uh, knight to c4, f takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, and now bishop to a6. And now this knight is pinned, uh, since the king is on f1. Uh, Tal play, uh, Gurganitsa plays bishop to f3, rook to e5, this uh, knight is pinned like we said so the rook cannot be captured, uh, rook to a3 and now rook to e8 doubling up, uh, bishop to d2 and now knight captures on d5 and uh, this knight can be captured with the knight because if you play knight captures on d5 then simply queen to h1 is checkmate. So after knight to d5 white tried the bishop takes f5. Uh, but here Tal plays rook captures on f5, on d5, and uh, again the rook cannot be captured because of the mate of the queen on h1. So white tried uh, king to e2, uh, and here Tal plays bishop to e3, rook captures on e3, and now bishop captures on c4. And in this position uh, white resigned. Uh, 
If you capture the bishop uh, because it's check, then simply queen captures on g2, check, king to d1, and queen captures on d2, this is checkmate. And uh, the other variation is even more fun, because if you don't capture the bishop and play something like, for example, king to d1, uh, Tal would play rook captures on e3, rook captures on e3, queen to g1, checking the uh, white king, and after rook to e1, play queen to f2. And uh, in this position, uh, black has no defense against this bishop to b3 move. Uh, if uh, the queen captures the bishop, then uh, queen to d2 is checkmate. So any move white plays, uh, if he even has a move, for example, g3, then bishop to b3 is coming, pinning the queen, and if the queen moves, then queen to d2 is checkmate. So yeah, uh, this is, like I said, one of my all-time favorite games played by Mikhail Tal, and uh, now on to the rules uh, of the quiz I have planned for Saturday. Uh, the quiz will be formed uh, with uh, 60 questions, and uh, you will have one minute uh, for each of those questions. If the question is answered sooner, then uh, we're going to the next question uh, before one minute has passed. And uh, at the end of the, well, the, the trivia, uh, the one who has the most points uh, will be the winner and uh, will be awarded the chess set. I still haven't decided what chess set it will be, I will post this tomorrow. So uh, if there will be a tie at the end, then we will have an elimination round with a couple of more questions until, well, the winner is chosen. So uh, the tournament will be held at Saturday at uh, 9 p.m., uh, but that's 9 p.m. Uh, considering my time zone. Uh, in the description below, I will put uh, a timer uh, so you can all see the exact time uh, it will be played uh, considering your time zone, uh, well, from wherever you're playing. And I will also uh, schedule a live stream so you can also uh, pre-register for the tournament. Although no pre-registration is required, you can simply just join the stream and uh, before the tournament starts you can join. Uh, and even if the tournament has started, you can also join, but uh, then your chances of winning will be, well, somewhat lesser. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this game uh, Mikhail Tal played in great style, and uh, I will see you soon. So. Farewell.